Okay, this is just a tiny little bit of what we got out of. Let me come up, James. This is a heat exchanger um, inside. This is, this is up how it came out. These two screws hold it in. These four holes, the two bottom ones are, are essential heating. The two top ones, which are, this is totally blocked, is our hot water. And when you try and use the hot water, it's going hot and cold. And this is due to the fact that this heat exchanger is blocked on the hot water side and it's not um, letting enough water through. So when it's being burned, it's actually landing like a kettle, which sounds like <laughs> because there's not enough water being let through, so therefore it's turning into steam and boiling. And it switched itself off and goes cold. And this is going to cost you a fortune. Or if you get a plumber and he's going to cart his own, it's about 400 quid. 400 quid, is it? You can do this yourself, it's a piece of cake. The amount of rubbish we just got out of here, I don't know if you can see in there. Can you see in there? Let me. And we've got to clean this out. That's almost, that's, well, it's not, it's not clean, but I reckon this will be 10 times better than what it was now. So, all you, and this is easy. This fits in the back of your boiler, right over here. So all you have to do, you have to take it out at that angle above the pump. Okay, I'm not gonna put it back in because I've just got the bloody thing out. But you go back in that way and then turn it as you get inside and it's gotta be upright like that. Out to up. Okay. We'll show it when we and then we're gonna get clean and I'll show you when I put it back together again. But this is easy, it's a piece of cake. And the other day as well, um, we had this valve here. This is your pressure valve and there was air in the bladder in the expansion tank so this valve had got stuck so what i bought this off ebay for eight quid that's an absolute doddle to fit but the back is just a clip and then here just underneath here just down there you just undo it down a bit my fingers just undo that and it just comes off put a new one on put the clip back in tighten that back up again see that nut not hard, it's a piece of cake. And then that stops the water because the water leaks outside through the pressure gauge outside the pressure pressure relief valve. Comes outside, you can tell when that's gone. So we're doing a bit of a service really. All right, piece of cake. Go get some cleaning fluid for this.